It seems that an outbreak of some kind of infectious disease has occurred in the zoo. The veterinarian and assistants are at a loss. And suddenly the monkey starts convulsing uncontrollably, to prevent it from running out and infecting other animals. The veterinarian quickly calls the security guards to seal off the laboratory. However to their surprise, the monkey dies in the next moment, ignoring the assistant's attempts to stop him. The veterinarian immediately administers a booster shot to the monkey for rescue without saying a word. Unexpectedly, right after the injection, the monkeys in the cages also become agitated. Could this virus be transmitted through the air? Before the three of them can figure out what's happening, they suddenly hear a terrifying roar from behind. The deceased monkey has actually come back to life, transformed into a grotesque zombie monkey, and then disappears from their sight. As they anxiously searched for it, the monkey jumped onto a cabinet, kicked off with both feet, and turned the security guard into a meatloaf. <laughs> The female assistant is terrified and in a panic state, trying to leave the laboratory, but the veterinarian wants to capture the monkey for research. Unexpectedly, at that moment, the mutated monkey jumped directly onto the female assistant's head and plucked both of her eyes. In that moment, the veterinarian finally realized the gravity of the situation and, in the final moment of being attacked, triggered the alarm. Upon receiving the message, the zoo's security personnel quickly arrived at the veterinarian's location, as they reached the entrance of the laboratory. They were startled by a pair of bloodied hands. Upon closer inspection, they discovered that it was the veterinarian. However, when the security guard prepared to open the door for rescue, the veterinarian inside firmly blocked the door, as if preventing them from entering. But the team didn't understand the veterinarian's intentions and forcefully broke down the door to enter. The scene before them made their hearts skip a beat bloodied handprints were everywhere on the walls, and the monkeys in the cages had escaped. Thea approached to check the veterinarian's condition, but the veterinarian kept repeating the same phrase from his mouth, urging them to quickly close the door. The team, confused by his words, saw the veterinarian staggering to his feet. To their astonishment, agonizing screams came from the veterinarian's mouth, something they never anticipated. A monkey had actually crawled out from the veterinarian's body, while other hiding monkeys also started to reveal themselves. They began launching attacks against the incoming individuals, and as the security personnel were being swiftly overpowered one after another, the remaining three individuals had no choice but to escape from the laboratory. However, one monkey got stuck in the door, allowing another one to seize the opportunity and pounce on the fallen security guard. Jackson as quickly took off his suit, wrapped it around the monkey, and slammed it against the wall but the remaining monkey managed to escape from the laboratory. The three individuals realized that the monkeys might be carrying a virus that could potentially infect other animals. They immediately contacted Dr. Ellen, the head of the park, and informed her about the entire situation. To prevent the virus from spreading further, Dr. Ellen ordered a complete lockdown of the entire park. Attention, everyone, this is not a drill. To ensure the safety of both humans and animals within the park, all entrances and exits have been sealed. Please find the nearest secure room for shelter. Fortunately, the zoo was not open to the public yet, and there were only a few students who had come for an internship. Upon receiving the location information of the monkeys, the three security personnel decisively drove towards it. However, the administrators and students, who heard the alarm, saw that the monkeys were already within arm's reach. The administrator urged everyone to escape but was immediately tackled by one of the attacking monkeys. Just as the three students managed to take cover in a thatched hut, they were attacked by other animals. It became evident that the virus could indeed be transmitted through the air. They had no choice but to climb up the trees, thinking it would be a safe refuge. However, the girl seemed to have noticed something approaching. It turned out to be two mutated giraffes. The girl was terrified to the point of wetting herself, and the two boys were instantly snatched away by the giraffes. When the security personnel arrived, the two men had already been dismembered. They immediately opened fire without hesitation. One of the giraffes was instantly brought down, but the other one lifted the girl off the ground. Fortunately, at a critical moment, Thea aimed for its head and saved the girl, just as they were about to leave. To their surprise, the giraffe revived. In an attempt to save the girl, Jackson Oz was bitten on the arm. Thea quickly shot and killed the giraffe again. However, while they were attending to Jackson Oz's wound, the girl took the opportunity to steal their car. Encountering such a troublesome situation is truly unfortunate, especially since their heavy weapons and radios were in the vehicle. Meanwhile, the girl had arrived at the entrance gate in the car, unaware that it had already been sealed off. In a moment of desperation, 
The girl could only seek help from Dr. Ellen through the surveillance system, asking her to let her out. However, Dr. Ellen saw something approaching the girl and urgently told her to drive away from there, but the girl insisted on climbing out through the gate, unaware of something pouncing on her from behind. It turned out to be a mutated lion, and the girl was dragged away by it. Dr. Ellen in the surveillance room hadn't recovered yet, witnessed another zombie animal approaching. She turned around and realized her daughter was missing, only to find out that her daughter had entered the toy room. She also noticed a lifelike koala toy, and as she approached to confirm, the koala suddenly came to life. <coughs> Hearing the noise, Dr. Ellen rushed to the toy room, however, in her frantic state, she entered the wrong password multiple times. When she finally managed to open the door, she realized she had underestimated her daughter's fighting abilities. The girl had actually used a baseball bat to kill the zombie koala. It must be said that the little girl was truly impressive. Meanwhile, on the other side, the trio of security personnel were ambushed by a horde of zombie monkeys as they continued walking. Thea quickly fired back, but their ammunition ran out after a few shots. Just as the three of them were feeling hopeless, several signal flares suddenly streaked across the sky. It turned out that Dr. Mitch and Dr. Ellen had come to their rescue. The group quickly took refuge in the security room and began discussing their next course of action. However, Dr. Mitch suddenly had a realization that it would be troublesome if the chimpanzees were infected. Coincidentally, a few mutated animals were approaching the chimpanzees' territory at that moment. Ignoring the protests of the others, Dr. Mitch insisted on going in to investigate. When he entered, he indeed found that the chimpanzees had already been infected by the virus. Before Dr. Mitch could react, he was struck with a punch and thrown back into the security room. Seeing this, the others scrambled to take cover, helplessly witnessing Dr. Mitch being brutally beaten to death. The infected chimpanzee seemed reluctant to leave and began searching for the remaining individuals inside the room. To buy time for the others to escape, security guard decided to confront and hold off the chimpanzee. But in the next second, the chimpanzee spotted Jackson Oz and the other person. In a critical moment, security guard leaped forward and plunged a 40-meter long sword into the chimpanzee's back. Seizing the opportunity, the two trapped individuals managed to break free. Security guard urged them to leave quickly, as he knew he wouldn't hold on much longer. Just as the three of them took their first steps away, the chimpanzee shook off security guard, crushing his head instantly. Seeing the chimpanzee chasing after them again, the three of them swiftly climbed up a fake mountain. They pushed down a large rock, knocking the chimpanzee unconscious. During their escape, they encountered the fleeing girl. Although she hadn't been eaten by the zombie lion, she was barely alive and soon passed away. With no time to mourn, Thea quickly contacted Dr. Ellen using the radio. As the entire park had already fallen, Dr. Ellen could only urge them to leave immediately while she would open the main gate. However, at that moment, Dr. Ellen suddenly saw several red dots approaching them rapidly. It was too late to warn them to escape, for hungry lions had already surrounded them. Fortunately, the body of the deceased girl attracted two lions, giving the remaining individuals a chance to escape in the car. However, the remaining lion caught up with them, and Jackson, Oz and Thea took responsibility for covering their rear. Unexpectedly, one lion leaped onto the car, and Thea's gunshot had no effect on it. It was the spray gun that worked. One shot sent the lion down, but they didn't have a chance to rejoice yet. Dr. Ellen flipped the car. They were all suddenly thrown out. Fortunately, they escaped with minor injuries. They had no choice but to continue their escape. Preparing to meet up with Dr. Ellen down the mountain using a zip line. However, as the zip line was not yet completed, they had to rely on their hands to hold onto the pulley and slide down. But halfway through the slide, both Thea and Dr. Ellen's steel cables started to fray. In a critical moment, Thea grabbed onto Jackson Oz, narrowly escaping the danger. Dr. Ellen, on the other hand, met a tragic fate, falling and dying from the impact. Once the two of them safely arrived, they quickly followed Dr. Ellen, who had been waiting for them, into the building, seeing the entire screen filled with red dots. Dr. Ellen had no intention of giving up and escaping at that moment. They brought the remaining few people to the underground basement and loaded all the flammable materials onto the car. Then they drove to the aviary section because the consequences would be unimaginable if the infected birds broke free from their cages. But when Thea and Jackson us entered the bird cage, they discovered that the administrator inside was already dead. Dr. Ellen, who was waiting outside, also saw through the screen that the bird cage was being damaged. It turned out that the infected zombie birds were trying to escape. Upon seeing this, 
Dr. Ellen quickly got out of the car, grabbed a bucket of flammable material, and poured it on the ground, preparing to use fire to stop the zombie birds from escaping. As the raging fire was ignited, Jackson, Oz, and Thea managed to escape from the birdcage as well. However, just as they were preparing to drive away, they realized that the ordeal was not over yet. The zombie birds were about to break through the windows. Thea came up with an idea and instructed Dr. Ellen to drive the car filled with flammable material to the entrance of the birdcage. Then she aimed and shot an arrow straight into the car. After a loud explosion, all the birds were obliterated, but just as they were about to leave, they discovered that the zombie chimpanzee was still alive. Facing this terrifying creature, they had no choice but to make a desperate escape. They were chased all the way to the park's main gate. Jackson, Oz, and Thea, who were covering their retreat, were instantly knocked down by the pursuing chimpanzee. Even Dr. Ellen was struck down with a single blow. <laughs> Seeing her daughter in peril, Dr. Ellen decisively pulled the trigger, but as they looked at the fallen chimpanzee, they couldn't find joy in their victory. Due to their long-term interaction, they had developed a deep bond with the chimpanzee. After a short while, the rescue helicopter finally arrived. The remaining four individuals boarded the helicopter and escaped from the zoo. However, they had no idea that the crisis was far from over.